Okay, in this video I'm going to show how you can have the text in one shape automatically being updated by the text in another shape. And I'm just going to start basically with a simple shape here, yeah, just do a rectangle like this. And this is going to be the, the, the shape where I'm going to put it in some text. So here is some text. Okay, now I'm going to have another shape which is just going to reflect the text that's in there. So what I need to do there is to insert a formula for that, which is reading the other shape. So if I just do, first of all, go, I've got the developer tab on, and if you don't know how to do that, then just go into customize the ribbon and ensure you've got this developer tab ticked. Now with that in there, I can look at the shape name here, and this is, oh, oh it's the fourth shape. So it's sheet dot one. So uh, that is the internal name of that shape there. So in this one here, I'm just going to do insert field. Now I need to go down to the custom formula and put in shape text. Right, and that's sheet dot one, the text. So if I do that now, then I've got here is some text here. Now, of course, if I edit this, it's going to lose that. So if I was to go in here, I've lost that formula. So I don't really want to update that. So I can go to the developer tab now and go to protection for the text. And so I don't accidentally edit that text. So if I type in anything in here, uh, then you can see that it's been updated automatically. So that's one way of uh, updating or having the shape text in one shape reflected in another. What about if you've got multiple pages? Now let me add a, a second page on here. And I'm just going to go to View and uh, Arrange All. Uh, well, sorry, I should have first done a new window. Uh, and I've got page two on the right-hand side and page one on this side. So uh, what would happen if I took this tech shape and put it over there, all right? So you think it's got a reference in there that works. And so add some more. Ah, and you can see that the text is not being updated on this shape in the other page. Let me zoom in on that. So why is that? Well, I protected the text, so I'm just going to unprotect it now. Uh, so I can actually look at the formula that's in there. And if I go into insert uh, field here, you see there is a broken reference. When I dragged it from one page to another, it got broken. However, I can fix that because I can type in pages. All right, that's uh, pages plural. Now, what is the page? It's page dash one. All right, and you notice I'm doing that within square brackets. And now I need to put in an exclamation point or bang, whatever you want. And if you remember, that was sheet dot one on that page. And then the text. And hopefully when I do that, and here is some text. Add some, and let's go into here and do more. And everything is hunky dory. So we can see now that uh, typing in the text in here is being updated in the shapes on the same page or in the shapes on the other page. And most probably, I haven't tried this yet, if I do a third page and I drag a copy of that, just in holding down the control key, click and drag, I'm hoping that uh, if I go back to my first page on here and uh, put in anything else, ah, ah, ha, you can see that even though I've copied it across, it's working there. And I would probably think that if I bring it back to the first page as well, it works here too. Take some out and you can see that it continues to work. So. The, uh, the formula that I put in on the second page works good for wherever I'm 
uh, duplicate that shape to. Uh, so that answers the question really on about how you can have the text in one shape reflected automatically into the text in another shape. It's not two-way. I can't go and edit the text of this other shapes here because it will lose the formula. And uh, I just do a control Z and control Z if you're American and undo that. And that's how you can keep them synchronized.